wanted our next guest to be really comfy. This is Pearl with Sammy's Friends, one of the really cute adoptable pets, but she's just a little, little nervous today being inside. And Brianna is here with us to tell us all about our little lady guest here, Pearl. So this is Pearl. She is anywhere from eight to 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So she is a little on the senior side. Yeah. She is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, uh, most commonly known as like the pit bull breeds. Um, she was actually kind of a mess when she came to us. She had skin cancer, which has now been taken out. Mm -hmm. And um, she was actually used in a dog fighting ring as a bait dog because wow. she's one of the more calmer dogs that okay they could have had there. She also mothered litters upon litters of puppies. For um, the ring. For the ring, yeah. So she is now looking for her forever home. Her mm -hmm. favorite spot is passed out snoring <laughs> on the couch. Oh yeah. And just kind of getting her snacks and her pets in. That's yeah. her ideal so kind of life. So we're talking about taking a dog like this home. You are getting a fighter, not in terms of a dog that's being aggressive, but in terms of who just really has a resilient spirit. You're talking about a little spirit that came to the planet that survived cancer, that survived this fighting ring and seeing all of her babies used inappropriately that way. And now she just needs some loving. Yeah. She just needs somebody to pour into her. And um, when it comes to the other animals, animals that you all are working with, how many do you have? We know so many shelters are really overrun right. right now. What's the situation for Sammy's Friends? Right now for Sammy's Friends, we have well over 60 dogs. About 25 of those are pit bull bully breeds like Pearl here. We also have anywhere from five to 10 Huskies. We have 10 to 15 Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd breeds, as well as you know various other mixed breeds as well. So we really have cream of the crop as far as what people are looking for. Now a lot of people might hear you know bull terrier, pit bull, Staffordshire, and and right. think, oh, I'm not taking that kind of dog. Like right. whatever they've been through, that's just going to be in them, and I can't integrate that into my household. Right. Emily, Brianna, would you say that that's true or, you know, what would you tell someone to give them more comfort about bringing one of those breeds that has unfortunately a reputation attached, deserved or not, into their home? I would say more often than not, that is a wildly misleading um, statement just because, I mean, back in the day, bully breed dogs were known as the nanny breed because mm -hmm. they were so great with children. So loyal. So loyal, almost to a fault. Right. So they will do anything and everything to make their people happy, anything and everything to make their families happy. So we notice a lot of our bully breeds and terrier breeds, mm -hmm. you know, because of that loyalty and that goodness in their heart, they integrate really well into families. Alrighty, and Pearl, again, this is Lady Pearl, and you can uh, take her home along with, what did you say, 60 other animals that 60s. you're working with there yeah. at Sammy's Friends in Grass Valley. We're gonna have to say bye for now, bye. but you can cuddle with Pearl for the rest of her life because you can bring her <laughs> home. Thank you so much for of coming course. in to share about Sammy's friends. Thank Claudette, you, you know, it is a great day to take a dog for a walk, right? Well, I gotta tell you, nothing melts my heart like a dog. They're they're my absolute favorites. And Pearl, you're a winner in my book. Let's go ahead and take a look.